Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to The Walking Dead, the game. If you haven't checked out the previous episodes, go back and check those out. We just got out of an ambush by some bandits here at the St. John's Dairy, and we're about to go take care of them. Lee has had enough. He saw Mark take an arrow to the back. Let's, uh, let's see what we need to look at and head on out. At least they don't have to worry about bill collectors anymore. Yeah, you know what, but the IRS has a plan in case of a nuclear attack. So I'm guessing the IRS is ready to go and get their taxes. Yeah, well, we need a lot of gas to keep those generators running. We'll take a peek at this outlet again. Doesn't look very safe, but I guess that's the point. It works. Keeps everything in the way we need to go. So last time they got a little touchy when we tried to go towards the barn. Let's see what happens this time. Um... My guess is when we try to open that door, they're going to stop us. There's Larry uh, and his daughter. Um, we'll take a peek out at the cornfield, see if there's any bandits out there, just to be safe. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're going to need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Yes, sir, we will. We'll take a peek at the hay pile. They said they had a cow so somewhere. A station for the cow. All right, so let's um, let's try and go inside the barn. I think they're going to stop us here. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Oh, it's not even going to let me in. If there's not enough oh, dang it. Okay, there's something about this barn. They didn't want us in here. Um, maybe there's actually no cows? All right, let's go this way. There's some more hay bales. We're going to bypass those for now. Nothing this way, it looks like. All right, let's go run over and talk to Larry. See what Larry has to say here. And then we'll pop out and go talk to the brothers and go take care of the bandits here in a few minutes. Walk up these stairs here, a little harder than it looks. All right, what do you guys got to say? Lily and Larry, right? Lily, oh my God, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Uh, I take it you and Kenny haven't made up. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? Um, How do you feel about let's go with the motor in one. It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Um, go with this. And then we're going to ignore talking about her dad, because that seems like that might be a, a painful subject for us to do. wife and kid and everything. Gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. Dang. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? Uh, yeah, we can tell her that. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Mm-hmm. That would be best for the group. All right, let's pop on out this way. We'll go back through the gate fence, run up, talk to the brothers, and see if we can go take care of these bandits here. All right, Lee, get through that. As always, leave me a comment on down below what you think's going on, anything crazy. You know, what's your theories? What's going to happen with Lee and the gang? Uh, this game, uh, you know, it reacts to what we do, uh, but there's a general story that it follows. All right, let's pop on up here and talk to them. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. <laughs> you saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? Dang, he's got some dark eyes there. Do some recon, then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. Dang, Lee's got some anger. Some used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yes, sir. Let's go. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Maybe pull some fingernails out, interrogate some folks. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Mm-hmm. Ooh, both of us got rifles. We'll be back, Clementine. We'll be back. See anything? 
Not yet. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Is that like a tractor trail? What is that? Oh, can of beans? Alphabet soup. Close enough. Here. Oh shit, you found it? Mm-hmm. Looks empty right now. Alright, am I controlling this or is Lee? I think Lee's controlling this. Alright, I'm not doing any of this. Sneak up to the camp. All right, we'll go nice and slow here. I don't see any sticks or anything on the ground that we could step on. A lot of cans here. You see anybody? No, looks empty. Can't tell. We'll just say, stay on your guard. Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. I mean, with that door ajar like that, I would hope there wouldn't be anyone in there. All the bugs and nastiness you'd get in? Mm-mm. Rule number one to camp, and that door is shut unless you're getting in or out. Okay, why are you putting your barrel into the thing so they can grab it? Clear. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we got the tent. We got plenty of Empty. bottles and Looks stuff like back here. Been eating out of these recently. All right, ooh, can of gas they might have taken. Fuse. Shit. All right, let's take a, ooh, that screen's jumping around a little bit. All right, anything in the boxes? Are these all empty cans or is there actual food in here? Boxes. They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Uh, empty cans. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. Ooh, there we go, St. John's Dairy. Let's get ourselves that box Boxes there. From the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What is in here? Couple boxes. All right, so empty shopping cart here. Whoa, we're swinging around. Mm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. I don't know his response didn't make me feel good. Let's take a peek in the tent here. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Hmm. All right, nice little lawn chair. We'll take a peek in these boxes. I doubt we'll find anything. Ooh, a little voice recorder. Oh, camera. What do you find? A video camera. Dad. see that? Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything. He is trying to distract me from something. He does not want me to find this. See you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Who's to say? All right, let's go back and look at this. He he's really trying to move me away from something. More St. John Derry bottles. Nothing. All right. Chair, sure, let's take a peek at the kettle. I doubt there's anything in it. The fire looks like it hasn't burned in a while. Oh, no, it's still smoldering, so it has been burning. Let's see if it's That's hot. Water. All right, so I think I would say it's time to call that because there ain't much, ain't much going on here. All right, so we did that. We looked at the tent. I can go back and look at the chair. A bunch of empty cans here. Yuck. I don't need that. Anyone in moving in the woods behind us? Alright, I think it wants me to go look at the lawn chair. We'll do the lawn chair and then I wonder if maybe back in the tent. It's 
clearly wants me to find something. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Say, so we'll take a peek in the tent now that he's moved. Yep, just the two sleeping bags, so he didn't lie about that. Oh, where'd he? Oh, he's back there. Okay. What are we looking for here, Lee? Is that a body? No, that can't be a body. Clementine's hat. Don't you fucking move. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. How'd they get Clementine's hat? Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? Hmm. You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I Who's them? You. I know what you are, and I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Crazy old lady. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. Who you attacked the dairy? Broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. <laughs> You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy um, them. Take a can of beans. Let's ask him about girl, Clementine's hat. All the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. I stole her from you. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. <laughs> yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill Really don't want to shoot this lady. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for oh. oh she gone Yeah that's a big old pile of blood or puddle of blood. Um Thanks I guess. Well, thanks. I guess. Well you welcome, I guess. <sighs> Yeah, I don't like killing people, but she was about to put that bolt somewhere. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. She ain't getting back up, so, tell you that. That's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Hmm. Well, you at least going to take that crossbow? There you go. One less thing for them to be shooting at us with. Come on. Well, that was messy. At least we got Clementine's hat back. So that's what the game wanted us to find. So how I'd have to go back and look at the other episodes. I don't remember. How did Clementine lose her hat or when did she lose her hat? Was it at the motor end? She must have stole it from the motor end. Man. It's been a hot minute since we played this, so I've hey, forgotten a few things. A ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Mm. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. <laughs> Very matter of fact, handled it. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Who's Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll so much negative myself. energy. Storms are brewing, literally and figuratively. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? <laughs> yeah, when you're hungry, that'll happen. Don't mind them, it's how they are. They can't agree on how to run things. Yeah, you yeah, could say that. say that. We don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. Hopefully. Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. Think I'll go have a look around. 
Mm, I'm just getting a lot of negative energy from her. A lot of negative energy. Well, we got Clem's hat back. That's a positive. All right, well, we'll go talk to a couple people here. Get Clem her hat back. Uh, so we don't need to go back up. We could go talk to Brenda. Let's talk to Danny, see if we could smooth some things over of him as he's cleaning out his rifle. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. Hmm. <laughs> My girl here. Really like that gun. This place I replaced with just one cow. You really like that gun. What's not to lack? Okay, getting some really vibes here. Really bad vibes. Um, not not much. much, I guess. Exactly. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna... gonna we're gonna walk away from this Danny guy. He's, uh... He's doing something not good. That's the feeling I'm getting. Alright, go back over here. Go give Clem her hat back. It's Lily over there still. Let's see. Yeah, we could go back and talk to Lily. Um, but let's go in the barn first. See if it'll actually let us in the barn this time. There we go. Oh, it got really dark when we came in here. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Till the cow bites her hand off. Whoa. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. The salt lick, right? What's this thing? They said it's called a salt lick. Nailed it. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> uh, Alright, Clem, have that hat back. She's pretty. Alright, give you your hat back. My hat! You found it! Indeed we did. I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Mm. Why? It's probably not. Because some it's crazy not lady had it. Like okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Um, haven't thought about that in a while. I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. Oh, come on, Lee, pet the cow. We'll take a peek at the she cow. Skinny. All right, Duck, what's Have Duck got to say? Thing? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Kids. All right, let's see what Andy's got to hey, say here. Andy. Uh, when do you think we might eat? Dan and I met a woman in the woods. Yeah, we'll say that. This woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. <laughs> um, how's the cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. All right, we'll Thanks. pop out of there. Yep. All right, we'll take a peek at the stalls here, and then, uh, there's another door back there. Danny's probably got some weird, like stuff back there all right let's back out we'll take a look at the other stall why not guessing he's gonna stop us before we do anything another salt lick so it looks like they had multiple cows or at least multiple stalls ready for cows but they only had one cow doesn't mean they haven't died or anything over time all right this one looks like it's more storage st john's dairy all right uh anything over on the far side of the barn Let's check this stall. Ooh. Okay. Um, wheelbarrow full of clothing? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. 
Cool. Smells pretty foul. Is Andy gonna be behind us? No. Okay. Well, I, I, that is definitely uh, firming up exactly what I thought Danny might be into. What might some other people be into? Got a little bag down there. We can look at this feeding trough. We haven't been able to look that's at any. Feeding trough. Okay, so that's all it is. Nothing with that bag. All right. And then for, just for completion's sake, we'll check this stall. Some lumber there, or some fence post. It looks like. Yeah. Just some fence posts. All right, we'll back out of here, and let's uh, let's go try the door. I suspect we're going to get stopped. But uh, we'll have to see what Andy says. It looks like it's locked down pretty tight. Yeah, it's got a big old padlock there. Too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Hmm. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. Ain't that the truth, Kenny? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. Um, I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, the guy with Kachina, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. Hmm. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. <laughs> Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Lose your head, Kenny. We'll do it after dinner. Oh, professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Can I pick it? All right, so we could unscrew it, it looks like. We might be able hey, to pick it. Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. <laughs> why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Well, if anything, Florida man should be able to pick that lock or use his fingernails to get these screws off. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. Bada bing, right. bada boom. Like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was... Oh, you can kind of see through the, the door. Can I help you boys find something? We're just having ourselves a conversation. Um, we'll just be quiet. We'll make them suspicious. Uh, no, no, we're fine. Just looking around. No problem. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. All right, so... We'll go find ourselves that screwdriver, but we'll save that for the next episode. So, if you've enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to Tooth Hand Scrubs Gaming so you get all this great content on time and in orderly fashion. Don't forget to like the video if you've enjoyed it as well. And leave me a comment on down below. What do you think the St. John's are hiding behind that door? How good am I doing on commentary? What can I do better? What am I doing worse? You know, anything like that. I love any and all feedback, so leave that down below. If not, we'll see you in the next one.